So Fox News polling shows that there is a lot of strength behind some of these proposals at this uh, at this point. Some of these proposals, background checks for guns, which. By and large, most of them are uh, background checked before you do a purchase. 88% though, moving the legal age for an assault rifle purchase uh, is at 82%. Flagging for people uh, who are danger to themselves or others, those red flag laws, 81%. And banning assault weapons, 63%. Um, there is a lot of momentum, at least among the public sphere, for doing this. Are you out of step with your constituents? Okay, so first of all, what's important is that we look out for the rights of constituents. Constituents are asked poll questions. They're not asked questions about specific language within legislative text. It's the job of the lawmaker to look out for the interest and the rights of the law-abiding citizens they represent. And so with each of those provisions, I understand how they could get high popularity readings when they don't define them. For example, you talk about banning assault weapons. There, there is no universal definition of what an assault rifle is. Come on, Mike. Come on, bro. Uh, so uh, there's this Senator Mike Lee from Utah dodging the question, which was this simple. Are you out of step with constituents considering the vast number of people who want some kind of gun legislation to continue to stop people from being murdered? And his response was a bunch of mumbled jumble and talking about, oh, well, do I have the responsibility to protect the, the rights of constituents? How about the dead ones? How about the families of the ones that were killed? Do you have a right to protect those folks? Because they always forget those ones and talk about the responsible gun owners. If the responsible gun owners, we're not hearing about them, are we? How about we do something about the irresponsible nature of our laws? Anyways, he continues talking about these NRA talking points. Of course, he ignores the issue at hand here. Let's go to some of his contributions because this is the reasons why he answers those questions and actually doesn't address the situation. So check this out. He's number two when it comes to um, uh, to gun lobby donations, just behind Mitt Romney uh, within that state. There, fifty-four thousand two twenty-five for all cycles, ten thousand four hundred there just in two thousand twenty-two. So if someone's paying you to say certain things. I think you'll say certain things to continue to get paid by certain people to hold your position of power that you enjoy very much there. Um, so anyway, he's talking about the bill as a lawmaker and the text of it and all that stuff, and he's urging people to hold off on it for a new gun bill. So here's more, he goes, there's still no deal. And yet we continue to be asked by colleagues, by constituents, reporters, are you supporting the bill? Is what he told Fox News Sunday as well. This is a very dangerous way to legislate. Behind closed doors, you need the transparency of a public conversation with the bill text in front of you. Um, but the Fox News poll uh, still was pretty significant enough that um, uh, to indicate what the public conversation really is about, that again, doesn't wanna have. He said, I personally refuse to indicate whether I or how I will vote on a bill until after I've seen the text because there are a lot of things that can go wrong. All that's understood. But when you start talking about, because he went later on, he went further, he talked about it's a matter of the makeup of whatever we're talking about with these guns and whether or not it's made of composite or wood or this component or that component. So he's trying to go into these weeds about the makeup of guns and not talk about the fact that there should be some kind of legislation that will prevent these things from happening. So the makeup of a gun, if that's part of your legislation, tell us how that has something to do with preventing gun violence. Because outside of that, all he's doing is just talking. Yeah, the, the argument that, oh, well, the poll question is different from the law that we're working on. Yeah, you're the politician. It's your job to work out the law in like whatever way, not whatever way you see fit, whatever yeah. way your constituents see fit, whatever way the people who voted you in see fits. Which means you have to start interacting with them and responding to them and listening to them. And when confronted, surprisingly, on Fox News Sunday, which is like one of the few places where you kind of get like straight talk towards Republicans and some kind of harsh questions on Fox News from time to time, to to see like those poll results from Republicans and then to be confronted with those. And and then having to say, okay, how do I argue around 88% support this, 67% support that. And you just go into these generalities about, well, hey, uh, I, I'm the politician, so I know what's best. Okay, when the plumber <laughs> explains yeah. to me what's messed up in my bathroom or whatever, he says a lot of jargon that I don't understand because I'm not a plumber. But I can say, yes, fix it. Or no, I'll do it my dumb ass self. <laughs> and I can at least understand that, okay? So it's the plumber's job to translate what I don't know into what I do know and you know, solve the problem, all right? Uh, politicians have a much less respectable job than plumbers, all right? So they should understand that their job is to take what people want and turn that into legislation, however that looks. It's weird, being a do nothing politician requires, a, a, I guess, less skill than being a plumber. 
Because really, you just push things to the side. Say that's not a situation, that's not a problem. We have to do this ourselves. We'll do it, bro. That's your, since that's your expertise, do it. Or just say, I can't. Okay, if you can't, move along and let someone else do it. And so it's said by the son of, of one of the women, the oldest woman that was killed in Buffalo by that white supremacist. He goes, if y'all keep saying I can't, what are you here for? Get out of my face. But they'll stay there because they get paid to stay there. 